Hi guys, this is me. I'm getting some video. It's heavy, this thing is heavy. Right, so fun. I love taking out carpet out of RVs. AC working, fridge isn't working, jacks aren't working. Yeah, there's a big old mouse nest in there, wasn't there? Don't tell mom. For the record, I have no clue what I'm doing. Really good during this video. He's such a good baby, huh? Hey, Simon. Hey, hon. Hey, little buddy. This is what it looks like right now before we've done any renovation on it. You can see I'm standing on a very light colored carpet, and that is not really ideal for a family with five children <laughs> when we're going camping for this long and you know living in this RV. So our plan is to install some vinyl planks that look like wood. And this is the kitchen. We have a faucet and then these come up. I have a little two, two little sink there. So we've got three burners right there. And I love how you can just have this all on top and you have more counter space for cooking. We have a little bit of storage space, not much. They don't come out. So we're gonna have to think of ways to figure out how we can organize that best. And then we have cute little spots here, which I have no idea what to do with, because I feel like if I put anything in them, things are just gonna fall out as we dry. So we'll see, I don't know. Um, but here, let's go back here and then we'll come around. These little closet spaces right here are empty. It's made for one big, like combined washer and dryer. We want to have separate washer dryers for laundry. So we're going to convert <laughs> this into a washer and dryer. And so that stuff right there, we're gonna have to like put somewhere else and who knows what it'll look like. And then it's mommy and daddy's bed that comes in quite a bit when the slide is in. And then here is where we're going to put all of our clothes. Seven people's clothes. <laughs> so. I'm excited though because for a lot of RVs, this is actually quite a bit of storage space for clothes. And our TV that we'll probably take out. Yeah, that's a big waste of space right there for us. We don't really watch a lot of TV anyway. Our spacious bathroom here. Now, yeah, this hallway, you have to like hold your breath. Oh wow. Look at this. We didn't even know this was here. Yeah, that was, I told. Yeah, yeah I know what happened. Okay. <laughs> so this, we knew this was broken, but we didn't realize, ugh, that it'd be like that. Okay. Alrighty. So right now we're going to have to do something with this and fix it up. Um, but I do love this stuff, stuff right here. I love that we have the ability to put all this storage space just right in the bathroom because we'll need it. Simon has decided to join us. He didn't like to be ignored or left alone. Huh. So I'm excited because this bathroom does have a pretty good size shower. Got control panels right here. They're covered up nicely by wood. And this, okay, so this is my plan for this. This is an entertainment center right now. And the last people who used it, they, you know, used it for their DVD player. They have this DVD player here that goes, it's connected to that TV right there in the corner. And we haven't really decided how we're gonna use that TV anyway. But this is a lot of wasted space for me. 
So we're gonna have, try and figure out like how to turn this and this into pantry area where I can keep more food and cereal and boxes of num nums for these kids because we need more pantry area for sure. And that's what I want to turn into this area, this into a pantry. So, and this dinette is cool because like most are these dinettes, the table goes down and then it turns into a bed. And this is where we plan on putting our son, um, Ezra, who has autism and he needs to be like in a tent bed. He sleeps better in it. He um, is overstimulated visually and things like that. So he can sleep a lot better when he's in this tent. So he's actually gonna be kind of camping in his tent, but we're gonna put it right here on the dinette when it's folded down as a bed. So I think that'll be the perfect spot for him. We'll see how it goes. So let me tell you a little bit about these chairs. They came with the RV, but we're actually gonna take them out completely. And we're going to put a couch here that folds out into a queen size bed. So our two older boys will probably share that bed. And then right behind you, I didn't mention this, can fold out and turn into a bed. So we'll put Marie, our eight year old daughter, there. That's our plan. See if things change once we actually start doing this. Mark and I are about to start this remodel project and tear out all this carpet and linoleum. So here we go. mom. Hi guys, this is me. I'm getting some video. I'm taking out this big old TV. It's really heavy. It's a heavy TV. How are you doing there, hon? Great. Doing a good job. I don't mind if he breaks things as long as he fixes them after. And he's good at fixing things, so. There's lots of wires. We're excited though because there are outlets in here. Lots of space now. <laughs> this ginormous, heavy, this thing is heavy. Do you want any help? Do you want me to put the camera down? No. No, he says he can do it. So Adam and Mark came last night and tore out this. This is what was there before. And now we're gonna finish the job. I didn't know that that's how the seatbelts worked. So like really into the wall or into the floor. Come out the floor. Oh wow, that just comes right out there. No, I didn't screw that. Oh, he unscrewed it. We're moving the dinette, putting it on top of the bed so that we can get the flooring in. I think we accidentally turned off the lights. Good job, woo! Yeah. That's fun. Look at our dinette set on our bed. How's it coming? I'm just 
cutting it around because if I pull the, this whole thing, this is gonna break. So we're just cutting it. It's great, it's so fun. I love taking out carpet out of RVs. It's like my favorite. So we're going to show the family the flooring that we've got in now and see what they think. to tow the van and the kids are playing in there right now we just got the flooring in and I just can't even believe that we're gonna do this it's crazy this is gonna be our new home seven of us it's kind of insane but I am so excited before I leave camping world here I just needed to change the oil because I know that at home we're gonna be on a hill. I'm super excited though to finally be taking this thing home. We can get it loaded up. We still gotta come back for a few more things on it. Um, but it's exciting to take it home. So just getting this uh, oil changed here right before dark. It's getting dark on me though. So hopefully I can get it done here uh, and get it back home and uh, gonna stop at Home Depot and get some more parts for um, the trim on our on our base and different things so pretty exciting we're getting close we are putting this on the inside of all of our drawers hopefully it'll help us keep them clean so I'm just cutting it and doing it right now
and on there. And he's gonna put this right here, and this is gonna go all the way up. It's gonna be like nice. And then it's gonna go all the way up here, right there. And it's gonna be super pretty. Right now it looks like this. And we're in front of our house. And we're gonna sign off on tomorrow. Never use the stick on stuff. Should be easier, but you still gotta use a towel, so I had to cut it. Hey guys, you guys doing big cleaning work? Yeah. Yep. What did you just get out of there? A mouse nest. There was a mouse nest. Luckily there was no mice inside. Yeah, there's a big old mouse nest in there, wasn't there? Can you stop saying that? It still freaks me out. Mouse aren't going to kill you. Well, <laughs> they're diseases, man. Doing a good job. Just go to the hospital. They might have so this is supposed to slide out all the way, right? Yeah, and it does not anymore. Because <laughs> the new flooring that we put in. There's so many things that you don't think about and they end up messing things up, so gotta fix it now. It's a good thing my husband knows how to fix things and make things because here's one of our screens that goes on our window in our RV and it had a huge rip in it. So he had to take out the whole screen and he's just inserting another, what, what do you call this material? Screen stuff? I don't know. Screen stuff. That, I think that's an official, <laughs> an official name. Bunch of holes in our uh, heating. And AC ducts? Uh, these are just heating. But um, just getting those filled in. I'm going to try and utilize this for a little storage space in here. Um, I'm going to probably put an extra battery down in here that we can use to power more gadgets and stuff. So, so what kind of glue are you putting on? Liquid nails. Liquid nails. So hopefully this works. Hopefully it'll hold up. Put it right on then. Crunch time. Getting this done. Just gotta get out of here. Two days. We have two days, so we are putting on our headlamps and working in the dark clamp on and hopefully it'll stick and stay. Because this is something that we want to work, want it to work. So we got those awesome bins from our neighbor. So they fit really well in there. And this one they fit, we fit too. This one isn't quite as wide. So we got, we got some camping chairs back there and a cooler, blue cooler.
and like a little late night trim work. We're replacing the ancient uh, radio that was in here before with a uh, nice one that has CarPlay and everything, Apple CarPlay, so we can get our directions and everything. And gotta make some more adjustments. So we are going to be working on that tonight to get this thing updated to the 21st century. So many rattles. A little time. I think we've got them all fixed though now. Those cupboards were just rattling and making so much noise while we were driving. I think so. That's awesome. Guess we'll find out the next time we drive. Put more screws in there. Yep. Cool. We are so far behind, it is nuts. So lots of things not working on the camper. I just broke the stairs again. We don't have the AC working, the fridge isn't working, the jacks aren't working. So these are two mirrors that we bought. Neither one of them work in the RV. Pretty sad. On top of all the other stuff before we go, including getting all the stuff out of our house tomorrow. We have this trim here. And we need to go all the way across, cover up those cords and stuff. So we got some new trim. It's a little bit different, but we've got some stain to put on it. That's what the old trim looked like. But we took out this. Remember what was here? It was a big TV, and we took it out. So now we got all this fun stuff to deal with and figure out how to make it look good again and hide the cords and thing with stain is you just put the least amount on first as possible and let it dry and see the color because as you're staining it you might think oh it needs a lot but you don't know the color until it dries way back when when we had a house <laughs> I did our whole kitchen and I stained all the cabinets and that's one thing that I learned making that corner look really nice Close. Yay. Yay, it works. That's amazing. It's like magic. seem to think that it's terrible so it's just like sad it's like sadness i want something bright and happy and fun that like makes me it's like refreshing like the beach and, and traveling and bright colors and lakes and hawaii i want to look at the fabric and i want to think vacation fun so when i look at that fabric i think throw up <laughs> And I used a couple staples here, 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 and three. I think I did one here too. Maybe I didn't. I should do one right there. Um, it was easy to tuck in under here and over here, and I could glue it, staple it, but it was hard along the sides, along the wall, because I didn't want to have to take it off the wall. So I just to deal with that, that's what I had to do. 
thought I was done taking these things out, but I'm not. <laughs> How come, honey? How come you have to take them out again? <laughs> because of design or looking nice. Not this fabric. Tucked it in. I think I'm gonna duct tape it under. It just it looks professional if it's tight. That's what I wanted. And I made this pattern to go right here. And I'm gonna cut some. And that I will sew that to whatever goes oh, back. These there. look good. Thanks. I just went to third Walmart to try and find fabric because I ran out of this stuff. But. We are putting, we got some of this that matches, sort of, and I'm going to patch this on the bottom here and make it look like I meant to. So we'll just do like stripes on the bottom and then this on the top. I think I'll have just enough fabric to do it. So it'll look like that down here at the bottom. Alright, so I was just going to do the window treatments and everything out in the front, but I decided we have extra fabric and I want everything to match, so we're also going to do the background too. So we're excited. This is what it used to look like. We're going to add this on. It's going to be blue, gray, and white. Can't wait till it's done. Yeah. Yeah, you want to play with the computers? Is that what you want? I think connect. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed that video. We worked super hard on it. <laughs> Long and hard on lots of things. All those renovations took forever. So, word of advice when you start this journey, whatever time frame you think you can do it in, double it. Because Easy. it just, <laughs> wow, takes a lot of time. And there's a lot of things that like you don't plan on that go wrong, right? Like the leaking in the roof and stuff like that. Did we put that in? We didn't even put that so in we didn't the renovation. That in. Okay. So that can be even later videos, but yeah, like lots of, lots of things come up, right? That like you don't even anticipate and, um, so just get, give yourself time and, uh, thanks for watching make sure and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, um, join us, comment, let us know what you want to hear more about, um, or see more of, and we will, we'll try to accommodate. We want you guys to be guiding and directing this journey. So, um, so yeah, let us know what you want to hear and what you want to see. Share it with friends who you think might be interested as well. So thank you guys so much. The, the channel is actually growing and uh, we're excited about that. So appreciate all your guys' help in, in sharing it. And we're really excited for our next video because we'll be showing you the entire tour of our RV. So you saw quite a bit in the renovation of the things that we worked on and projects that we finished. And this next video will be a tour of just every detail of 
you'll just see it all together. So we're excited about that. Where do we sleep? Seven kids. Where do we put all their clothes? Where yeah. do we? We'll be. Do we'll the be... towels, food, all those types of things. <laughs> Telling we'll, we'll you the put details, in the, the nitty gritty, the details. So excited for that! So we will see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye.